Hey everyone, this is my video of how to take apart your HP TC-1100. So first, you want to make sure it's off. Remove your opening, remove all your accessories. Your pen, memory card if you have one, and your PC slot. So then, make sure that's still open. You want to first take out your battery. Easy enough. Set aside. Now, you want to take off your panels. One for your hard drive, and one for your wireless card. So, take a little Phillips and undo the screws. Now, I don't have all the screws, but uh, you know, you get the idea. So, just take them out. Make note of where they go, not that it matters. Set them aside. Now you can take off your panels. Lift up, take out. Set those aside as well. Now you can take out all this stuff. Right here you can see your hard drive, then you can see your wireless card, and then your user accessible memory right here. So we'll take those out. I like using a little pick to get at stuff like that. So hard drive, just take out, slide, you can take that out. Set that aside as well. Now you can take off the power cables for the wireless card. Let's pop those up. Then you can release these little metal tabs on the side. The card will pop up and then out. Set that aside as well. Now you can remove your user accessible memory. First, you gotta lift your little plastic piece. Same thing as the wireless card, except these guys are plastic. So, undo both of those. Then you can just pull out. You want to make note of where your indentation is right here. So when you re reinstall it, you don't have to worry that's going to be in the wrong position. Set that aside as well. Now you can take off the ribbon for the disassembly. It's right under here under your hard drive tray, you lift this piece of plastic up and you can see the little ribbon right there. All you want to do is pull it down. So now, just pull that down. Down being this way. Set that aside. So now, you want to take off your Torx. The Torx is a T8 head. You can get little drivers like these at Home Depot or something. Real easy. And your screws are going to be located here, 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 under this cover. I can't see that too well. Just remove that. You can see it right there. And then lift your foot up. You can see another one right in there, here, and here. I didn't see that last one right there. So, undo those. So then, like me, you can use your little, little pick to get at these little guys, take them out. Because I don't want to use anything magnetic on my computer. 
just make note of where they go to not that it matters too much but you want to make sure you have them all when you're done sometimes you can get those out by hand or not Now this one is a little tricky sometimes. It doesn't always want to come out. So you just turn it upside down. There goes one. Turn it upside down. Unscrew it. At least try to. go. So, once again, set those aside. Make sure you don't drop them. So then this is the really scary part. You're going to open your shell. Now what you're going to want to do is have, once again, this port open and you're going to want to pry from your keyboard side. So this side with the pen is going to be basically your hinge. So set it down like a book with your ports facing you. And then you're going to want to push down and there. So then use your fingernail or something to pry that open. Next part is your audio ports have to make sure that your plastic piece is going to clear these jacks. So once again, I take my pick, and make sure it clears those. So you can see those jacks might get in the way. So now, you can continue prying like a clamshell. It's going to be a Fairly unconcerning click there, but don't worry. So then you now have your HP book. Now since this side right here, we don't we aren't gonna mess with the screen, we can just undo the ribbon right here. So then you're gonna want to lift on the black pieces can't really see that too well, but I'm going to lift on those black pieces and hold this ribbon in, and you can just remove that. So then we can set our display to the side. So now we have the motherboard and everything else exposed, almost. If you're going to want to replace your modem, which is under here, or your memory, which is right here, you're going to have to take off your heat shield. So first thing you're going to want to do is remove your audio ribbon. Once again, it's got a little connector that you're going to lift up. It's really small, so I like to use my pick, because I've got big fingers. And then just lift that up, and pop that out. And they're set to the side. Next thing, you are going to want to remove your heat shield. At least that's what I'm guessing it is. It's just a heat shield. It's this piece right here. So there's going to be four little screws to access it. Two here and two here. So just undo those. I'll just set those to the side as well. Make sure you remember where they go. So then 
Right here, there's a little adhesive that you're just going to have to peel up, so don't worry about it. So then, get that, place that to the side. Now you've exposed the other memory. So if you're upgrading to 2 gigs, this is going to be one of your other 1 gigabyte sticks. Once again, same thing as the other one. Just pry your two plastic pieces up, pop up, and you can slide it out. And then you can make sure that your slot right there is like that. And that's all you have to do to remove your memory. I hope this has helped, and I will make an assembly one, or assembly video.